Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. Today's love reading will be all about the person that you're thinking about, connecting with, and what are their energies, thoughts, feelings towards you and towards the connection. What do they secretly want to tell you? What messages do they have for you? And let's jump right into the reading, Capricorn. Messages, please, for Capricorn Spirit. What guidance do you have for Capricorn regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What is this person thinking, feeling towards Capricorn? What are their energies towards Capricorn? Let's get their main energy towards you, Capricorn. What is this person thinking, feeling? What's their main energy when it comes to Capricorn? Wow, the Queen of Cups, very sweet, nurturing. Um, there's a lot of empathy, compassion, and kindness with the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, a lot of love. The Queen of Cups, she's very um, generous with her time. And also she, um, I don't know why I wanna say this. <laughs> she sees the good in people, I don't know. I it really felt like I had to say that. Um, so I feel like this person could be thinking of you this way, Capricorn. They might have a lot of feelings, tenderness, kindness, compassion towards you, or they see you as this type of person, someone that's very kind, generous, or um, sweet, at least in their eyes. What else do we need to know about this person's energy when it comes to Capricorn or this connection? Four of Swords. So this is all about... Um, reflection healing rest but while you're healing and resting you're reflecting as well so there's no communication or action with the four of swords they're kind of just thinking pondering learning at the same time although really here it's more about resting right there's no action that you're taking it's like you're just processing so i feel like this person might be thinking a few things um Maybe they haven't heard from you in a while, Capricorn. Or they might think, um, even though they have a lot of feelings for you, they're not ready to act just yet. Or there's something in your connection that's a bit slow or stagnant. Wow, the Two of Cups. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? Yeah, there's definitely a special connection here. At least this person is thinking of you as a soulmate, as someone who they see eye to eye with, someone they want to be with, with the Two of Cups and the Sun. Wow, yeah. So I feel like this person, um, they think about you a lot, whoever this is. Um, there's a lot of thinking. The Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. This person could even be overthinking, overanalyzing, but stuck, right? They're not ready or able to make a move towards you. Maybe fear is holding them back. They're a bit afraid or just can't see a way into like the next step with you. So for example, if this is someone that they know they have to talk to you. They might not know how to do that. Um, now the sun is like good news, happiness, joy, celebration. But what I'm getting here with the sun as well, it, it's almost like this person, um, eyes on you is what I'm hearing. So even though there's not a lot of action happening here, um, there's a lot of, under, I'm getting like this person understands and has only eyes for you in a sense. It's, it's like there's something about you that they're understanding that's special with the Two of Cups. You know, it's like, you know, Capricorn is my person, um, but I feel also like there's a bit of a holding back energy here with the Four of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Let's get some energy oracles out here. Tell me more about this person's overall energy when it comes to uh, Capricorn. Please, I'm getting also with the sun. There's like a picture. There's an actual photo this person's looking at. Maybe it's a picture that makes them think of happy times, happy memories. Maybe they look very happy in the picture or you look very happy in a picture. Tell me about the overall energy of this person when it comes to Capricorn or this connection spirit unhealthy attachment bonds toxicity codependency unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty 
Okay, so maybe there is an, not just an emotional hold, holding back, um, like it's not fear or um, silence, but I feel like there might be something like physically that could also be keeping your person from, because I feel like this is someone that even though they have all these feelings, they haven't actually taken a move towards you. Okay, what else do we need to know? I'm getting a lot of messages just looking at the cards and I don't wanna like, I always struggle with this as a reader because I don't wanna say every message that I'm hearing because I feel like it's gonna be a jumbled mess to anybody that's listening. I try to focus on the messages that are like the loudest. <laughs> There's something about a phone call that's significant. A phone call that did not end well. That's not for all of you, obviously. Uh, I am reading for the Capricorn Collective, so keep that in mind. Not everything will resonate 100% with everyone. But I feel like there's someone watching where there is a phone call that did not end well. Um, phone call, that's very important. Okay, what else? Or a conversation, but I'm getting phone calls strongly, like it was on the phone. It's not for everyone. Yeah, second chances. I feel like something happened in your connection. It's like your your connection took a turn and it could have been because of that phone call or something else. Um, past life is at the bottom of the deck. Past life, memories, nostalgia. You've had a connection with this person in the past. Something that happened in the past is significant. Um, what else? I feel like Capricorn. There's always someone from the past for Capricorn. What else do we need to know about this connection or this person's energies towards Capricorn spirit? What do we need to know? This could have also happened in the past, like in a past life. Maybe your connection wasn't very strong in a past life and you have a second chance in this life to have something better because there's definitely a soulmate connection here with the two of cups princess okay so we have the divine feminine here again i'm thinking of the queen of cups so it's like this person is that some of you are dealing with someone that has a photo of you can look at you in some way there's something special about you for this person in a physical sense what else do we need to know what else do we need to know wicked stepsister jealousy drama interference so it could be that this connection would other otherwise be very smooth going, um, have no issues, um, ever after is at the bottom of the deck, happy endings, joy and resolution. I feel like this is what you could have with this person, a happy ending, but I think there's some sort of interference in the form of an unhealthy attachment. This could be a family member, this could be an unhealthy habit, it could have been that someone just kept making the wrong choices. There could be some jealousy or drama. Could have been a third party as well. Like some sort of interference in the form of a person that may, ha may have been another romantic attachment. But I feel like whatever this was, I, I don't think it compares to what they had with you. What does this person hope to tell Capricorn? I didn't even finish my question, but Seven of Cups, okay. What do they want to tell Capricorn? What message do they have for Capricorn? Okay, we have the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, some of you, this is definitely a soulmate situation um, and something to do with like a past, it could be a past life soulmate. This person wants to talk to you. They have something to say. And it's related to something that happened in the past with the Six of Cups. Or it's related to this connection that they feel with you. But I feel this Seven of Cups is like why they haven't come forward. How do I say this? What do I say? Is it the right time for me to say this? Should I be the one that reaches out first? There's a lot of questions that this person's having. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. And it would be a very honest, direct conversation with the Ace of Swords. Let me move these up a little. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. 
Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? For Capricorn, why is the Ace of Swords here, Spirit? Ace of Pentacles? Wow. Okay, can I get one more? So this, um, when I see some uh, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles with a card like the Ace of Swords, I think that this conversation is for a specific purpose. Um, it's to talk about something substantial, something tangible, something you can count on, plan for. Um, it's not just to talk. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What do we need to know about this Ace of Swords? Death, Scorpio energy, and then the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there is something, yeah, I feel like this person wants to talk about some sort of ending or change that they've had in their life. Maybe the ending that happened with you, Capricorn. But it's with the intent of moving past that, moving forward. And I feel like it's not just one conversation with the Knight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there will be more than one conversation. It's almost like when this person finally decides to open up, it's, it's almost like they can't stop. They can't stop talking. They have so much to say. Now, Capricorn, I have to say, I don't feel like... I mean, I'm going to get some PSI love yous to kind of get some more insight into what's going on here because obviously there's an obstacle or challenge here with the unhealthy attachment and wicked stepsister. Second chances is here as well. So I feel like something did happen in the past, but I don't feel like, I don't know, it's, it's almost like the energy I'm picking up here is very light energy. If this did happen in the past, it was a really long time ago. Or it wasn't, it wasn't like a devastating thing. I'm not really picking that up here. On, um, we'll see. Let, let's get some PSI love yous and then hopefully I'm right about that. Tell me more about this person's thoughts, feelings. What's in their heart space when it comes to Capricorn? What is this person thinking, feeling? What is in their heart space when it comes to Capricorn? Awakening. Okay, realizations. Understanding. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings? You are the only person for me. Okay, realizing that you are their person, that you are this Two of Cups, Six of Cups. Again, I get that energy of all eyes on you. That you're the only person for me. That you know, the only person that they can visualize themselves with. One more, please. What else do we need to know about what this person is thinking, feeling about Capricorn? Mistakes. Mistakes were made. And bottom of the deck, time apart. Yes. So this is what's important here. I don't feel this mistake was recent. I feel like you and this person have spent some serious time apart. Enough time for there to perhaps be a little bit of healing or at least a bit of maturity. Let me see what's behind this. Heartfelt apology. And we have known each other before. So... I do feel like this is just yet another reading where someone from the past or past life connection or something like that is coming towards you, um, Capricorn. However, the difference here is I, I am not picking up an energy of someone who did something terrible. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I, I just get the sense that if they did do something bad, it was like a long time ago. And I feel like whatever happened here was an interference of some sort. And I'm getting that this interference 
was not necessarily like they left you for someone else. It was like there was an interference with like, I don't know, like someone got in between you. Someone kept you apart or like interrupted the connection. Maybe they were influenced by someone, but I don't pick up like cheating very strongly. Again, I sense a lightness in this energy, this person's energy. Um, I just don't pick up that this is someone that's like super duper regretful, carrying a huge load, a huge baggage. Sometimes I do pick that energy up in, in these readings, but I'm not really getting that here. Obviously, we'll see more in the extended if I'm right about that. Let's look at this person's uh, genuine intention towards you. And then we'll take this to the extended to get some more insight into where all of this is headed next and what this person's next move will be towards you. That'll be uh, in the description box. What is this person's intention towards Capricorn in the near future spirit? What is this person's intention? What are their main intentions towards Capricorn in the near future? In the near future. Oh, I got two. Eight of Swords comes out again and the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, the higher font at the bottom of the deck, Taurus Energy. And the Six of Swords with the Five of Cups. Interesting. I feel... During your time apart, this person could have ended up somewhere else. They might have gotten married or you got married. Or they ended up in a long-term commitment or you ended up in a long-term commitment. I think that's the only reason this person has hesitated. They're not able to make a move just yet. Because I feel they have to leave their commitment behind or their obligation behind or you do capricorn the plot thickens and i don't think they're happy if this person did end up married to someone else or in a commitment with someone else um if they let themselves be influenced by someone else you know or maybe perhaps because i don't get uh cheating very strongly so i feel like maybe there was a big mis misunderstanding between you um, maybe your person was influenced by like a parental figure or a friend or a coworker or something like that. Um, a family member perhaps. And I feel like time passed and then you both ended up in different, different, uh, paths. And I feel like whatever path your person has been on, they're not very happy there. And they're realizing that it's because you are the only person for them. So no one else will do. But I don't really see them, their intention right now is not to take action. So we'll have to look at the extended as to what their next move will be and where all of this is headed in the near future in terms of the connection as a whole. Uh, because I feel like this person does want to eventually communicate with the Ace of Swords here. That is on their mind and that's in their heart space. So it's like that's what they're thinking about right now um, when they think about you. They think about talking to you. So we'll see what's, what that's all about in the extended. Feel free to join us there for more insight details. I'm also going to post several more Oracle decks, advice, all that good stuff. 